I watched a man of God. And they brought an addict of secret. And he said, I am an addict of secret. He said, yes. He came in with a cigarette in his hand. And then he brought his hand close to the man's nose. And he told the man, inhale. And the man inhaled. Inhale, keep breathing. He kept breathing. Then he told him, you have cigarette here? He said, yes. Pick it and smoke. When the man picked the cigarette, as he put the cigarette in his mouth and pulled Blood came out of his nose and his mouth. Others came. They were on the queue. Some could not carry the cigarette again. And while I was watching in my mind, which kind of anointing is this? I thought it was an anointing. Then the man said, do you see what's happening now? He said, it is the eternal life that dwells in me that he breathed in. He can't smoke. He now turned and told people, say, if me, I try to smoke, this thing happening to him is what will happen to me because that life cannot smoke. So that you could successfully do it was because that part of your life has not come to an awareness that it cannot. It takes a certain light to open our eyes to these things. I cried and I told God, how long? He said, how can we be lions? Because we are hungry, we eat grass. That lion died a lion because there was nothing in his faculty that told it fornication is part of you. To be able to think fornication is part of your life is, is, a, is a lack of awareness of eternal life. These things are very written that you may be aware that your faculty will be giving you. It's one thing to say, I'm born again, I have eternal life. But the writings of John were designed so that a man can experientially know. Do you know it's hard for a believer to think that he can live the next 15 years without sinning? It's hard. Meet a believer. Can I let me shake tables a little? They say none is perfect, isn't it? Can I tell you something? Is there if there is any human being in heaven, that human being was perfect when he left the earth. Nobody enters heaven, only the perfect. Ah, and when God said, Be ye perfect, for I the Lord your God am perfect, he was not lying. So before we begin to make men think that imperfection is a normal state. It is a, it's, it's an abrupt dislocation from the mentality of eternal life. Eternal life is perfect. And we must align with that understanding. Listen, if a man doesn't know something is possible, he will never seek it. And so Christians move around and give excuses for error. And men are not pressing on to perfection. Because in their mentality it has been uprooted that perfection is a part of life. Listen, only perfect people make it to heaven. People whom God has instilled perfection and they know and in that knowing, when they walk down the street and you tell them they, to lie, they will tell, them, tell you no. The life I bear is a life of perfection and in a love to preserve it, I will not lie. I need the life I have to affect even my car, my house, my shoe. I want it to affect my fridge. I had a friend of mine was traveling and people were mocking God in the car, fake pastors. And as he was in the car, he cried and said, God, just do something to prove. And he said the car went down, the battery was dead. And as the battery was dead, he told the driver, open the bonnet. He laid his hand on the battery and he shouted, Life! And everybody turned and looked at him and he told him on the car, the car started. Then they told him, what did he just do? He said, I have life. I spoke life. There and then he led two Muslims, I think, and one other person, three to Christ. Ay -ya. Two of them tried it in his front and prayed for people and they got it. And the Muslims said, I'm going home to test this thing that you just showed me. Listen, we have life. Eternal life affects even inanimate things. A life.
life that multiplies things. I want to be aware. See, that man of God I told you people about, I'm still studying that thing. How can a man breathe the air from your hand and he can he cannot? Some people could not hold when they carry the secret to fall, and he told them that's how eternal life is. It say him, he cannot do it again. How come we can do it? Do you know why we can do it? It's not because we don't have eternal life, it's that the awareness has not come. I want a man of God's wife raise a child from the dead, a baby, without a word. She held the baby and she was just looking at the baby and turning the baby around. And in less than five minutes, she gave the baby back to the mother alive. A dead child. Did you hear what Jesus said? I have come that ye may have life and that you will have it more abundantly. Why? So that you can give. Because as the Father has sent me and has given me power that I should give life, so he has he sent us. In him was life and the life was the light of men. Why have we become lights also? That we may light up the world. How can people meet us with death and go with it? When we are supposed to be custodians of eternal life. Some of us have witnessed a little. But we need a bow dance so that we can share. While you speak, let life be ministered to the kidneys of men. That the person walks in and they live a liver cirrhosis. But as you are speaking, out of the abundance of life, the person went back home and is well. Not because you laid your hand, but every word you spoke was part, was carrying spirit and it ministered life. We are ministers of the New Testament, not of the letters that kill it, but of the spirit. What does it do? It gives it life. 